Next, I want to talk about how it is official. The NBA is starting on December 22nd. This is super, super exciting. Uh, as the NBA PA has agreed uh, and they voted on uh, the December 22nd start, I think this is really exciting uh, just for everybody, to be honest. It is going to be a short off season, and it may be hard on some of the players. And uh, I think as NBA fans, we have to be... Uh, not mad at certain stars, especially guys like LeBron, maybe even guys like Jimmy Butler. We cannot be mad at these guys at all if they have to sit out some games because those guys were in deep playoff runs and they're going to be right back at it. But the December 22nd start makes a lot of sense because at this point we have no clue when a vaccine is going to be out. So it doesn't really make sense to wait till like February because if there's no vaccine out by then, it's like, what is the point of waiting that long and missing out on so much revenue? Uh, Christmas games have always been a big source of revenue for the NBA. So it makes sense for them to start near that time. They'll get their Christmas games in and they'll still be able to get a 72 game season and, uh, and get a playoffs done before the Olympics start, which is something that they definitely absolutely needed to do. Uh, was get it done before the Olympics started because uh, certain, especially the players who are foreign-born players, uh, care more about uh, winning their country a title than winning their NBA team a title. So it makes sense for them to do that. And I just absolutely love this. I'm so excited. It's going to be a shortened off season for sure. That is, uh, it's probably going to be the hardest transition on rookies, uh, if I'm being honest, because uh, rookies are just going to have such a quick transfer from uh, – immediately just uh, training and getting ready for the NBA to basically starting games right away. Uh, it's definitely going to be interesting for free agency as well, as usually we'd have to wait like months to see a, a free agent play for a new team, but we're going to see a free agent play for a new team pretty immediately uh, as free agency is going to start shortly uh, after the November 18th draft. Uh, and that's going to be really interesting to see because if a guy, say, like Fred Van Vliet signs to like the Knicks, it's not like we're going to have to be like, oh, two months, wait for that. It's, no, it's literally like a month, uh, even less than that. So it's really, really exciting. I'm so happy that they agreed on this. Uh, I'm happy that the NBA PA decided that this was the right idea. Uh, and I think it just makes sense for both sides. You uh, get the season done before the Olympics start. You get that revenue that you're going to need because uh, – uh, the NBA players want to make money. Uh, they want to make as much money as they can make, especially in the 2021 offseason, which is going to be lucrative, filled uh, with star talent all over it. Uh, they want to have the cap as high as they can. Uh, and I think we're going to see really exciting moves during uh, that. So it makes sense because we heard that they couldn't miss out on $500 million uh, starting it. Uh, later than they were so it just makes complete sense on both sides it was something that it wasn't like super surprising because they uh, had talked about it for multiple weeks now and it seemed like it was inevitable but it's just exciting to hear that's official because it was just a lot of unknown with what was going to happen with the NBA and it's not like uh, still we don't know everything but we know mostly we know the outline of what's happening and I'm just super excited to see basketball back uh, I'm super excited to see what uh, teams and players uh, step up and play uh, better basketball. I'm excited to see these rookies in a really weird draft class. Uh, and, yeah, I think this next season is going to be excellent. I think it's going to be super fun. And I'm super happy that the NBA PA has officially voted and there's an agreement on this.